This is a cool effect that you should know about if you like to play around with fonts and you want to basically mix your text without having to create a thousand layers of text and having to have one letter and then reorganize them and then go through that hassle for hours and hours. So this effect can actually break and crash your project, not allowing you to open it, break your timeline and everything. But I will also show you an alternative that you can use if you want to actually use it to the animated part, which I think is what's causing the crash for this. So let me just show you this little cool trick. What you want to do here is first, we're going to need a text plus, right? Uh, let me find this right here. So once we have our text here, we're going to open this infusion and we're going to right click on the text box and go select character level styling. Go up here to the modifiers and now you'll be able to select each letter one by one and then change the font and the color and pretty much any values that you have right here. Now, there is one drawback with these is that you cannot really animate any of these things, but you can play around with all of these. You can add more styling levels or shading levels and just create your cool, unique font or unique letter for your text so that way you have the control to modify each letter one by one now if you want to animate your letters one by one there's one little thing that you can do so we're going to go back to tools and you then go down to advanced controls and here where it says manual positioning we can create a keyframe now we go up here and then activate the allow manual positioning if we zoom in, we can see there's this little dot that showed up on our screen. If I move a few frames and then select that dot, move these around, then I can move the letter, each letter basically. So yeah, now what you can do is go to the spline tool here. Then here, if you want, you can ease them in and out. So the movement is a little bit more smoother, or you can just leave it like a linear movement or Actually, just do like a lot more punchy movement, basically like that. And then selecting all of these, you can set this to be a ping pong animation. That way the animation is going to be repeat itself and go backwards. Or you can set this to be a complete loop. And then it's just going to start as it, the initial amount. I'm adding this quick note in part right after editing this project because this effect costs a lot of havoc. Uh, while well, trying to edit the actual project because it crashed everything and broke pretty much everything and I had to find a few workarounds to fix them. So you can see here there's these part that's animated, right? So, well, in theory, it's just moving around and then looping sort of. So what I did for that is I actually just went into the first one, activated the manual position right here, up here, as you saw, it's the same process that we use, but without the manual positioning keyframes. Now, to make sure that your position is not repeated, what you want to do is extend these text that you have here. That way, you already have the previous position. Then we're going to open this one in Fusion and use the manual positioning option to move things around and change the position of these again, right? Okay, let's go back to the edit page. And here what you want to do is repeat this process however many times you want and then just uh let's say you had four then just copy them and put them right after and then you should be set with that effect so try both styles try the keyframe version and if it doesn't break your project then you're good to go right but if it does then you'll just have to use this method to be able to manually animate or to create this sort of like animation of the tech of the letters moving around a little bit. So yeah, those are two cool text functions that you should know about and that you can use on your creative projects. So that is it for today's video. Come back tomorrow for more.